Miss South Africa 2018 was absolutely phenomenal. It blew us all away. It was always going to be a woman of substantial character and beauty to take the crown. You know what? See for yourself. The 12 finalists are studying law, commerce, property development, and two are doing medical degrees. It's a powerhouse generation. Margot, you are a co-director of a non-profit organization. How important is it to give back to the community? Well, personally for me, it's, it's very important. That's why I started uh, the foundation that aims to empower young uh, people in the community as well as uh, the upcoming generations. Uh, these are the people that are going to be the future leaders. And because I come from a developing community, I believe that it's so important to plant those seeds in the, the future generation. Akila, you're a student, a master's student in neuroscience. What made you decide to enter this year? I wanted to really follow everything that was on my heart and Miss South Africa has been on my heart from young. I wanted to be a living inspiration to young ones, to be someone that they see as a manifestation of their dreams and aspirations. Please tell us about your dress. It is seriously breathtaking. Thank you. I love it. I, I wanted to go for something different. I usually go for your brighter colors, but I wanted something more rose goldy. And I wanted something a bit organic and something more natural, which inspired this whole pattern. I was born um, and raised in Mtanzani, the second biggest township out of um, South Africa. This really represents my journey and you, could, you would see that it has a train and that train really represents the idea of limitlessness, which I believe my journey has, um, has been so far. <laughs> So my designer is BG and she is a phenomenal woman. So the day we met her, she actually spent four hours with us because she wanted to incorporate our personalities into the dress. And this is absolutely me. So I love being elegant, classy and wearing timeless um, creations. So yeah, I love my dress. Tell me about your outfit. My outfit is designed by Salome Couture and I drew my inspiration from gymnastics. She took patterns off my gymnastics leotard and then there's elements of the beach and she laser cut it and hand painted it all on and then the diamante is to represent the bling and the pageantry side of things. So yes, it's incorporating me as a person. What inspired this look? Um, actually, I came with a design to my designer and he's like, no, this is too boring. I'm going to give you something exciting. Yeah. It has been inspired by the, uh, the sea of Mauritius. It was mm -hmm. the, uh, under and a shot of the sea. So as you see, the, the greys and the, and the blues and everything, it's just amazing. You look like an Egyptian queen. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I wanted my dress to say Tamron Bench. I wanted to, even if I walked on the stage with a bag over my head, <laughs> I wanted people to be like, yep, that's Tamron Bench. Wow, you know, getting an Alberta as my designer was a dream come true. And I just wanted to give her creative reign. I just told her I wanted a masala red color and she delivered as she always does. And she just said one day on the elliptical, she decided this is what she wanted to do with me. I was like, thank you. Because I have short hair, people always expect me to wear something edgy. So I just wanted to reveal the more feminine, more princessy side to me. And Orapaleng did just that with the whole poofy mesh uh, material over my dress. Tamron Rolene Strauss inspired you to enter Miss South Africa. What unique qualities about her do you admire most? Rather than unique, I think we have a lot in common and things that she has achieved, I want to achieve with my life. So I'm studying medicine, she's a qualified doctor, she won Miss World and she has a family and she's balancing all of that and at the same time she's still empowering so many women around her and I think that just inspires me so much more. Uh, Jade, the experience has been phenomenal. I've had so much fun, I've enjoyed every moment and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've dreamt of this since I was a little girl and to be on the stage and being one of these top 12 girls walking, it's been a dream of mine and oh, I can't describe it. As the pageant celebrates its 60th year, it's made an exciting change to the format, offering opportunities to more finalists. Suzette, as a former Miss SA, what qualities do you feel uh, Miss South Africa needs to possess? It's a girl's got presence that the minute you see a kind of your jaw drops on the floor and you go, this is somebody who can represent a voice of a new generation. A Miss South Africa is someone who is, first of all, proudly South African, someone who is well-spoken, someone who represents her country. She should be relatable and obviously just so beautiful that uh, breaths will be taken away. And I think that tonight we will find the one.
it's South Africa, right? But then there's the continent, then there's the world. And it's so easy to become a global sensation, but I want one that's meaningful and with purpose. And someone who's going to make a success of their life, even if they don't win the crown. So I want the other 11 to do what you've done. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm looking for someone who's got that tenacity. Tonight, for the very first time, they'll be crowning a Miss World South Africa and a Miss Universe South Africa. Well, I think um, it's wonderful. The two pageants are so different. And since I was a little girl, my dream was to participate and become Miss Universe. And I'm so honored and so happy that that, that that dream became a reality. So yes, tonight, two girls will be crowned Miss World South Africa and Miss Universe South Africa. And I will be crowning the next representative uh, for South Africa on the international stage. And let's cross fingers. Maybe it's Miss Universe twice in a row from South Africa. You never know. <laughs> Adia, you are hand over the crown this evening how are you feeling I'm excited because the top 12 are incredible and the girl that's gonna take over from me is gonna do South Africa so proud why are organizations like Miss South Africa so important you know Miss South Africa is a platform that seeks to celebrate women and I think any platform that empowers women that acknowledges women that celebrates women is something that we all should be able to support UCT accounting graduate Talisa Kay sent East London into raptures when she was crowned. Tilly, congratulations. You are Miss World South Africa and our very first one. How are you feeling? I am ecstatic. I'm shocked, but I am so excited to represent my country on an international stage. Among a smart and gifted group, it was final year medical student from PAL, Tamarin Green, who shone brightest. Cameron, our Miss South Africa 2018. What is going through your mind? I'm unbelievably happy and I am overwhelmed, but I'm so honored and I'm excited to embark this journey. And I just want to say thank you to everyone and I'm, I hope I do South Africa proud. What advice do you have for our new crown queen? It just, just radiates beauty and elegance and um, charisma. And I think if she just carries that forward, she'll just, just be amazing. So. No real words of advice, except to be herself. I think tonight was spectacular. Yeah. The fact that it was the 60th Jubilee and having more than 40 former beauty queens all under one roof was iconic. There was a standing ovation. I had goosebumps all over. I grew up watching most of these beauties. I mean, we are world standard. We really yeah, are we really world are. standard. Before winning this year's title, Tamarin Green enjoyed hiking whenever she could, in between her medical exams and practicals. But her schedule just got a lot more demanding. Now that you have an incredible platform to help others, what do you plan to do during your reign? During my reign, firstly, I just want to portray the message to all the young women that you should all be comfortable in your own skin, that we are all different, and we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. You know, growing up, you, you compare yourself with ladies around you and especially we're facing social media with all these pressures and you want to be like everyone else and I just want to send that message out. I'm also passionate about health and I want to become a pediatrician and through this platform I want to contribute to child health by educating the moms and in that way I'm also investing in our youth and you know their development and their future. Your Honor, let the evidence show that for sheer drive, initiative, talent and beauty, South African women cannot be beat. And you South African men have it real good too. Tamarin Green, top billing wishes you the best of the good life during your reign as Miss South Africa 2018. <laughs>